Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Nakus Helping Hand Soldering Station with LED Magnifier. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this is very heavy because it is magnetic, it has a very heavy metal plate in it. So here we have the clips. These are magnetic standoffs. These are the flex arms. They're short and long. And the LED magnifier, the metal plate. So it has rubber pads here. I'll put these on probably around a quarter inch from the edges. Okay, there we go. So that raises it up a little bit, which makes it easier to grip. And it also keeps it from sliding around. So I'll get this stuff unwrapped and then we'll take a look at it. Okay, so it has these flexible arms. These are six inches and 12 inches. So there are two of each size and they have these alligator clips that go into them, like so. And there's a little thumb screw to kind of lock them in place. So the grips look like they have some sort of shrink wrap on here. So if these wear out over time, you could put some new shrink wrap on there. So these can attach to the plate like so. And then you can loosen these up to rotate them and tighten them down and you can clamp to hold them. So I'm going to get the clamps on the other ones. This did come with a spare clamp and locking knob. So this also comes with a lighted magnifier. This has 3x magnification and it has a magnetic base on it. it looks like this unscrews and it did come with a wrench here. Looks like if you needed to tighten this down, but I'll just tighten it by hand. It wasn't very loose. So that will attach there. It has a control on it. So this has three different color temperatures and 10 different levels of brightness. Next, we have these standoffs here. So you can use these to hold your circuit board. So you can use clamps to hold your circuit board or you can use these standoffs. So let's take a look at the standoffs first. So I have a little circuit board here and there are some holes in them. So you can use these to hold the circuit board by those holes. Now these are a little bit close here, so that's not a perfect fit. But if you do have holes in your circuit board, you can set them on here. These also have grooves here, like so. So you can use those. So there we go. So I think that's a better option in this case. So that holds it pretty secure. And then these easily slide around. So here's another circuit board. There we go, you can pull these in. So that holds that pretty secure. So that's one way to hold a circuit board. Another is to use the helping hands, and that would be the more traditional way of doing it. Let me adjust the camera. So here I have the helping hands holding it. That holds it nice and secure. And the big feature of this one is the lighted magnifier. So I can pull that into position here, and I'll plug that in. So this uses USB, so you can use a phone charger, a USB battery. You could plug this into a car if you had some application where you needed to plug this into a car. An RV, a wall outlet that has USB. I have a little charger here, I'll plug it in. And then I can turn on the light with the switch, like so. See what that looks like. So I'll hit this button here that has the arrows in a circle. That'll change the color temperature. So this is a warmer white. This is a more white white, and this is a more blue white. So I kind of like the white white. And then we have different levels. So this is all the way low. And this is all the way high. So my camera's probably adjusting, so it's probably to see exactly how bright this is. So this isn't meant to light up a room, it's meant to light up something like a circuit board or jewelry or whatever you're working on with your third hand. So let me adjust the camera so we can look through the magnifying glass. So here's through the magnifying glass, here's without. So where I'm standing, my camera's about halfway between the magnifying glass and my head, and the magnification is a little bit bigger than you're seeing in here. But this can be moved around since it's a flexible arm, so we can look at different parts. So like right here, I can read this as Q15, Q13, C30, and that would be right here. So I can read those, but it's not easy to read, that's for sure. Let's see this little number here on the circuit board. I can read that here, it says CN5036002. So if you have a tiny little helping hands that have just the tiny little pivot, and the tiny little magnifying glass, this will be a huge upgrade. I really like having the light on here. So if I turn the light off, that's a little bit dark. So having the light plus the magnifier really helps enable seeing the tiny objects on this board. So helping hands like this would be great for electronics work, jewelry, crafts, modeling, anything where you need an extra set of hands, this would be helpful. And this model is especially nice because it has a magnifier. So if you're working on tiny things, it can help you see better. So that's the Nakus helping hands with LED magnifier. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, 
questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.